before we start off today's episode, we just got to show this off. The 2024 Heisman Memorial Trophy winner is Westlake running back Alex Ellis as he gets his second Heisman Trophy of his career. Very well deserved. He absolutely dominated this season. And today, the Hornets will be taking on the Army Black Knights in the Orange Bowl. Let's get right into it. Welcome back, everyone, to the Westlake Hornets team. Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. As today, the Hornets set on for their final game here of this season, the Discover Orange Bowl, as they take on the number 18 Army Black Knights. These two teams have sort of been linked together for a while as the past seven seasons, no two college football teams have really improved their programs like these two. Obviously, Westlake was created seven years ago, and the way they have jumped up to the top of the country has been remarkable. And Army, seven years ago, they were known as just a random team, a team that's usually in the middle of the road, Navy's little sister. But Army has been incredible the past few years. Both of these teams have made national championships. Both of these teams are actually the previous two national championship losers. Of course, Westlake lost in epic fashion last year against Penn State. And the year before, Army lost to the Florida Gators in the national championship. This is also the final game for many illustrious seniors. Looking on Westlake on defense, they're going to be losing Brock Rivero, QJ Casimir, Ernest McCoy, Wesley McNamara, and Emmanuel Charles. Those are some big shoes to fill. And then on offense, only two starters, but those two guys are Michael Wilson and now two-time Heisman Trophy winner Alex Ellis. So let's see what they can do in their final games of their career. We all know how this Army team loves to pound the rock, but they're taking on the number one rushing defense in college football who allowed under 100 rushing yards per game as on first down, James Owens, who had an exceptional season this year, loses to the senior Brock Rivero. Reads the play like a book. Westlake has never seen anything like the Army offense before, so credit to them for starting this game off with a stop. Second and five, Westlake will look to pass it as Curtis under pressure, and Peyton Curtis will lose 12 yards. That's James Ramsoir with the sack, bringing up a third and 17. Army will be starting off here at the 36 after a pretty bad punt from Alberto Prompel, who has struggled as of late. Here's Stefan Donaldson on first down. He loses two. Alex Coker, the senior, makes the play, and there's an injured player. It's for quarterback Donaldson. This could be a serious injury for the Black Knights. I really expected this game to be dominated by offense, and so far, both defensive units have been really good. Everett Lemieux is the motion man. He will get the fake handoff as Curtis. No time to throw it, and he loses three. It's Reggie Daniels with the play. Westlake's offense did really struggle in the first quarter of their last game against BYU and still managed to put up 63. So starting off slow is no problem for this squad. As on first down, it'll be Rob Alexander losing five on the option. Multiple Hornets were there, but it's Sean Briggs, the redshirt sophomore, is the one who makes the play. Second quarter now underway, and this has been a defensive battle so far. Neither offense has done anything. We are tied up at zero. Third down, Alexander, no time to throw it. He loses four. That's QJ Casimir with the sack. His fourth tackle of the day as expect a big performance from him in his final collegiate game. Westlake's offense, once again, couldn't do anything, but since they started off with really good field position, they are in field goal range. This one is 53 yards from Matt Fellows. It would be the longest of his career, and it's a fake. Westlake has faked the field goal. Hadley over to Gibbs, and it's dropped. Jason Gibbs, the freshman running back, had it right in his hands. He actually had it in his hands twice, and both times the ball fell out. Wow. Six combined drives for these two teams, zero points. That is incredible. That blows my mind. These are two of the most explosive offenses in the nation, as Alex Coker with his second tackle for loss of the day. Donaldson back in at quarterback. I think Donaldson might have gotten flashbacks from the earlier hit by Coker. Westlake's offense is making a little bit of progress here on this drive. They have it at the 35. The closest either team has been today to the end zone. Second and 10. Curtis looking to throw it. Curtis looking deep. He has Mr. Reliable. It's the senior Michael Wilson for a gain of 31 yards. By far the longest play of this game. 
And Westlake will get it inside the five, just like that. It is now first and goal at around the four. Just over three minutes left here in the half. Still tied at zero. Alex Ellis gets for Rock and Ellis will score the touchdown. And just like that, the Westlake Hornets are finally on the board as Alex Ellis with his 96th career rushing touchdown. Four away from 100. Probably won't happen, but... He did score four touchdowns in the second half last game against BYU, so it's certainly possible. Westlake was finally able to get on the board. Let's see if the Black Knights can follow. Third and inches. They have not converted yet today on third down. Will that change? Yes, it will. As Stefan Donaldson gains 10 yards and an Army first down. Will they finally be moving in the right direction? Army did convert on third down this drive. Can they do it again? As it is third down and eight for the Black Knights. Stephon Donaldson under center. He's looking to throw it. Donaldson under pressure. And it's dropped by Stanley as Stephon Donaldson was somehow able to make the pass. Stanley got to the ball but couldn't hold on. Well, Army has decided to fake the punt and the fullback, Jermaine Wallace, only gets three. So both of these teams have tried to fake special teams playing the first half and neither of them have worked. Wesley can really take control of this game as they have the lead. They have the football, and they start the second half off with the football. Let's see if they can take advantage. Third down and seven. The Hornets have not converted yet today on third down. Will that change? The answer is yes, as Peyton Curtis will run for 18. Not known for his mobility, but he's going to show it off on that play. So it really looks like the Westlake's offense has figured it out. Now we just need to see when the Black Knights figure it out on offense. First down, Curtis looking deep. Through the end zone, one-on-one -on -one coverage! And it goes in the hands of Mr. Reliable, Michael Wilson, for what could be his final receiving touchdown. We do have another half to play, so he could get one. As a perfect throw from Curtis right on the money. A perfect route by Wilson. And Westlake will take a 14-0 lead. Army is letting the clock go. That makes no sense. I feel like their offense has to get some momentum before the end of the first half. I feel like it's worth it to take the risk. As on second down, they actually throw the ball more than two yards downfield, and it works as Greg Stanley gains 18. I'm a genius. Army probably could have had about 42 seconds left on the clock. Now they only have 22. As Stefan Donaldson on first down, scrambling. Donaldson going to run with it. And Donaldson, he is still not down yet, and he will gain 17. Army will not call that final timeout yet. The Black Knights are moving as quickly as they can. About 10 seconds left. Stefan Donaldson, no time to throw it. He's going to be brought down by Emmanuel Charles. And they're going to let the clock go to the end of the half. I lied. They actually did call a timeout. And it looks like they're going to lop up a Hail Mary. Donaldson going deep. And it's intercepted by Emmanuel Charles. The eighth on the year for Charles, which will tie him for the lead in college football for the most interceptions. What a season. He had, and he's going to be a big loss to this Westlake defense. First half in the books, Hornets lead it 14-0, and they do start the second half off with the football. It is now first down for the Westlake Hornet offense, as this unit has really improved as the day has gone along. Here's Alex Ellis, who scored the first touchdown of the game. Ellis runs around the defender. There he goes. Pushed out of bounds at the 35. Very nice run for the now two-time Heisman Trophy winner. Westlake now is at the 36-yard line here. It's first down. And off for Ellis, he's running backwards, and he loses five yards on the run. Very nice play for Chris Barnes. Here comes on Matt Fellows for a 47-yard kick. The Black Knights are prepared for the fake. Westlake did fake it earlier in this game. This one will not be a fake. The kick from Fellows is up. It is good. And the Hornets will take a 17 to nothing lead. Army amassed a grand total of 92 yards in the first half. Let's see if they can put the pieces together in this half. It's fourth and two. They're going to go for it. And James Owens will convert as he is wrapped up by, it looks like, Leon Moore. But not before converting. He only has two yards on the day. James Owens ran for over 1,600 yards this season. So it's very surprising to see him only having two carries for two yards in this game. Third and inches, Donaldson tosses it for Wilson. Sean Briggs is there along with Alex Coker. That'll bring up another interesting fourth down where they could look to go for it again. And indeed, Army will go for it again. They are one for two in this game, one for one on this drive here on fourth down as Donaldson tosses it for James Owens. Owens is a first down and will be brought down 
after a gain of 14 as Donaldson was almost wrapped down, but he was able to toss it to Owens in the nick of time. Army's offense is now in the red zone. This is the ninth play of the drive. It looks like their offense is finally going to score some points as Donaldson is clobbered on first down. Alex Coker with his third tackle for loss. Isaac Solomon also with contact. It looks like the Black Knights will be going for a field goal here on fourth down and 12 as it's definitely too risky to go for it. The kick is up. It is good. And Westlake shutout did end as Westlake will not get their first shutout in school history today as the Black Knights finally put points on the board with a field goal here in the Discover Orange Bowl. It is second and inches for the Westlake Hornets. Curtis and Ellis, of course, in the backfield. Four wide set as it will be a play-action pass. Peyton Curtis looking to throw it. Curtis cannot find anyone open. Curtis, he will be sacked. He almost got it off in time, but he was unable to. Barry Bolin is the one who brings him down. Three quarters down, one to go. It's Westlake Hornet to lead it 17 to three, but Army still certainly has a chance to win this game as Donaldson over to Wallace, and the fullback Wallace breaks the tackle. What a run for Jermaine Wallace. He gets 13 before being tackled by Brock Rivera. That play just shows that Army is still fighting, and they can absolutely still win this game. Donaldson, he's going to toss it for Wilson. Wilson hesitates, and he gains about five, but it looks like we got a flag on the play. It is going to be a face mask on the Westlake Hornets. The penalty is made by Brock Rivero, the senior, and Army will get it half the distance to the goal at the 13-yard line, just like that. And the Black Knights are back in the red zone. They are one for one today with a field goal. Let's see if they can finally cross the... The end zone for the first time today. That play certainly won't help as Donaldson loses two. Agobo Onecho, the junior linebacker, makes the play. This play might be the most impactful play of this whole game. Third and eight. Army is one for nine. 11% on third down. Donaldson, no time to throw it. Brock Rivero is right there for the sack. Rivero and Solomon are neck and neck atop the NCAA for sacks as Rivera wants to pass his teammate. That one will certainly help, as I think they are tied now, if I'm not mistaken. Army knows a field goal isn't realistically going to do anything. It absolutely makes sense to go for it here. Fourth and 14. Stefan Donaldson, all the time in the world, and he throws it in the middle of nowhere. He had so much time to throw, and there was no receiver miles of that football, and Westlake will get it back. This, my friends, is why Army likes to run and not throw. Army is 1 for 10 today on third down. Westlake isn't much better. They're 1 for 6. As Peyton Curtis will look to throw it. Curtis, he doesn't have too much time, but he will find his tight end, the junior, Sandu Fishing, for a gain of 17. Time is ticking and ticking and ticking. Westlake isn't really chewing the clock. They just want their seniors to get some final memories as Jason Gibbs now in the backfield, not Ellis, and it shows as Chris Carter with the tackle for loss, Gibbs loses one. Hornets did not convert. Here's Matt Fellows for the field goal. He's one for one from 47 yards out, and he makes this one. And with 2.07 to go, the Hornets will take a 20-3 to lead. 150 to go. The Black Knights have two timeouts, and they will pretty much need a miracle to win this game. Stefan Donaldson looking to throw it. Donaldson under pressure from Jackson, and he's going to throw it right into the hands of Akobo and Echo Jr. That was great coverage. I don't know what kind of pass that was. Once again, this is why Army likes running the ball, not throwing it. Donaldson's only thrown two picks all year, but he's also thrown two today, and he's also thrown a few other awful passes. This, ladies and gentlemen, will likely be the final carry of Alex Ellis' illustrious collegiate career as he will get the rock, and Ellis rumbling for a gain of two. Definitely not his most memorable gain, but it's still something. Fourth down and six. It's only right that number 31, senior running back, two-time Eisman Trophy winner, Alex Ellis, takes the final knee. And congratulations to the Westlake Hornets as they have won the Discover Orange Bowl, the biggest bowl win in program history up to this point. Definitely was not the most memorable game or the most exciting, but it was certainly a fun one. And Westlake will improve to 11-2 on the year. This is the last game for many great seniors, including, of course, Alex Ellis. And 
Be ready for the Hornets off-season live stream that will likely be this coming Sunday or this coming Monday, which happens to be Memorial Day. So, happy Mo early Memorial Day, everyone.